Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. <laughs> my daily talk. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Barry Selby. Um, I do these talks every day. They're on Facebook Live, then they go on to YouTube. So whichever platform you're watching on, um, let me introduce myself to you. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's is number 357. So getting close to the year at this point. Um, and today's topic actually was inspired by an interview that I heard on The Daily Show last Thursday, I think it was, with Terry Crews, um, who is a, he's a passionate man, as you may have seen, if you've seen his acting and performing and everything else, but also he's part of the Me Too movement as well, from what he's been through um, and shared. And so what came out of what I heard was something he said, which was, he just said, love is not control. And I just was like, oh, I've got to talk about that. So that's what today's talk is about. And I added the word hurt in there too, because it's not that either. And I wanted to, sorry, my, I wanted to share from this perspective, because many people out there have been conditioned to think that love has associated baggage with it. That when you get in a relationship, you've got to put up with certain things, including hurt and control and other things, and it ain't true. Now, one quick caveat on that. Some people who maybe like some more um, exotic forms of relationship may like the feeling of being controlled or in control in the sexual department. Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about relating in a normal, in quotes, normal, romantic relationship with somebody else. If you have control in the conversation, in the picture, you're missing the boat. Love in relationship is an additive process, not a removal process. Meaning that when you're in love with somebody, you add to the experience together rather than taking something away. And control is taking you away. It's taking away power, it's taking away freedom, it's taking away the ability to do anything. And so control, especially in relationship, is a red flag, to say the least. I've talked about that one before. It's, a, it's an absolutely demeaning way of being together, which is not functional, not healthy, not respectful. And so I wanted to just put this out there in, in this um, venue to speak a little bit about this, because for me there is a... Um, There's an awakening, and there's also a, a need to speak about this a bit more, because I, I, I've seen enough women I know, particularly this one reason that one thing that keeps inspiring me in my work, is watching women I know and friends of friends, because they're not actually my clients or people I talk to directly, so I have to be somewhat um, circumspect and um, re reserved, I guess is the way of putting it, to not say something directly to them, even though I wish I could, because I can feel what they're walking into. I can feel the, what I would say is the trap they're walking into in, this, in, in one of the relationships. I'm thinking of one case in particular where um, somebody I know is a friend of friends of mine. I didn't know her directly. I was getting married to somebody I knew who I've seen from his history what he'd done to other women. And I wasn't in the place where I could actually, I wasn't at the wedding, so I couldn't stay and, you know, um, speak now forever, hold your peace. I would have stood up and said something, but I wasn't at the wedding, wasn't my place to speak. But I felt it, and later on, turns out, it didn't work out, and she got di and they got divorced. Um, thankfully, she didn't get hurt too much, but there was this feeling inside of compassion and almost a feeling I wanted to change things, and it wasn't in my place to do so, so I didn't. But this is one of those vehicles or whiz I can talk about this to hopefully give you the option of hearing this, the opportunity to hear this, and to sit with the consideration that relationships in the past you've had and maybe ones you're looking at in the future have some predisposition predisposed excuse me predisposed um rules that you don't want to take on any relationship you go into particularly a romantic relationship i don't want to use the word should because <laughs> it came right away should have no any relationship that you move into, romantically speaking, I would 
strongly suggest that you um, demand, require, invite a framework that is trusting. Because another thing about control is, is tr control is usually not about trust. It's actually come from a place of fear, which is why love and trust, love and control don't go together. Because love isn't about being afraid, love is about being unafraid. <laughs> but being trusting and being able to be connected. And a truly healthy relationship is one that is completely expansive at the boundaries, uh, uh, sorry, expansive at the um, edge of the comfort zone, They're not boundaries so much. That if you're in a healthy relationship, there's an opportunity to grow together, to develop a deeper connection, deeper intimacy, and a great deal of connection so that when you're in a relationship with each other you trust each other implicitly you also have a great deal of care for each other so that there's room for us to move you are you may you may caution your partner because of something that happens or they're going to do but they have freedom to choose you know there's a feeling like well when you have kids you have to control them so they don't get out of hand it's like well not necessarily you can advise them you can be that guardian but also be that advisor and so you can guide them without controlling them. And then they can make their own choices, which is what raising healthy kids is about, I believe. Um, and I've got friends of mine talk about this stuff, so I know from their perspective what they said it's true. I'm not, that's not my area of um, message. But as an adult in relationship, it doesn't think it's that framework, which is my area of um, context. The dance of relationship is one that is expansive. Um, being together in a relationship romantically, to be in a place of commitment, connection, intimacy, exploration, expansion, is a place where those um, edges of your comfort zone get slowly extended, dissipated, and removed so you can grow beyond them. And for some people, of course, relationship is only available inside the comfort zone. They're not willing to look outside that one. But here's the thing. I don't know I was going to go here, but this is where I'm going to go. For the vast majority of the planets, the vast majority of people on the, in the world, they get into, into relationship, and this is not you, but other people, they get into relationship with somebody that's familiar, comfortable, and easy to get together with. So they can spend the rest of their lives in a place that's very easy. Comfortable, safe, secure, and boring. My um, description, my suggestion around romantic relationship is actually where it puts you on your growing edge. And I, I still mean you've got to be comfortable with the person and still be in loving connection with them. However, it's not where you stay. The thing about relationship of true depth, intimacy, and um, expression is always growing and expanding, and your opportunity with that person is to become more of who you can be with them, on your own and together. And that's the gift that a truly powerful relationship brings to each partner. It's not always easy, though. And so this dance of control is one where there's a fear of growing, a fear of expanding, a fear of becoming more of who you can be. And that is a death knell to a healthy relationship. So it's a choice. You can be in a safe, controlled, um, normal relationship. But it's stagnation. It's not, it's not growing, it's not, it's not expanding, it's not becoming more, it's not becoming what you really want, I'm sure. If you watch my videos, I know it's not what you want. Um, so it's letting go of that, letting go of the control, letting go of the framework, and being willing to expand and become more of who you can be, which is beyond your comfort zone. One of the benefits of relationship is you have somebody else in there with you, supporting you and going beyond your safety zone, your safety and your, again, comfort zone where, you, where you're familiar. And so you get to become more of who you can be. That's one of the best gifts of relationship you can have, I believe. In fact, that's probably one of the most pivotal pieces of why healthy relationships are worth having because they will, one, allow you to confront your old limitations, two, become more aware of who you can be, and three, take action with support from your partner to become that more expressed, more fulfilled, more um, loving, bit, loving person you can be. Kind of simple, really, in a way. But it is an opportunity. 
it's not always a given. So in in the early parts of dating, I just want to come, to come back to this point, is you have the opportunity with your um, new date, new partner, new relationship to explore this conversation, to sit with them and to actually talk about what goals you have in a relationship, what intentions you have in a relationship, what you want to invite from that partner and what you want to give to that partner and vice versa. So you can actually see where you want to go. This is... This is playing bigger than most people are willing to play, admit. And, and I'm, I admit as I'm saying this, I know a lot of people on the planet will have no um, no desire for something like that. They want to be in a relationship where it's just easy, comfortable, and they can sleep the rest of the time. And that isn't what I recommend. It's not what I'm interested in myself, and it's not what I recommend for my clients, and it's not what my clients want either. They want a healthy relationship that is beyond that because it's so easy to fall asleep and be lazy in a relationship. That's why convenience, comfort zone, stability, and control is the limiting way of being. I believe, I believe your um, calling, your intention, if you're interested, is to go beyond that. It's to start to expand into a much deeper and more intimate and more expansive way of being in a relationship. So... I realized I went totally off the way I was going to go from the start. Here, so let me come back to that for a second. What Terry Crews said, which is where that quote about love is not control, um, which started talking about toxic masculinity, was, I want to just finish this piece off because I don't want to leave it lying on the other side. Yeah, I can do that. I'm just watching where I, le I left this one off. So this one's good. Back to that topic at the beginning. I realized I may have retitled this one. Well, it's two topics. He was speaking about in romantic relationship where one person controlling the other one isn't love and that's true so and I'm looking at the whole conversation about the me too and times up conversation because it's definitely part of that too with the me with the control issue but in romantic relationship where one partner controls the other one and it works both ways it's not just men on women it works both ways unfortunately that level of control and fixation and and, and um, unwillingness to be free is not love and if you've been putting up with that, let me be clear to you, that is not love. And if you want more truly healthy, loving relationship, you may need to get out of that. Pure and simple. I think that's about it. Because I want I, it's really more of a cautionary tale. I would recommend watching, if you have a chance to, the extended interview on extended interview on the Daily Show from last Thursday. Yeah, a week ago. Um Shrike stays Thursday this week. Um, Terry Crews was the interview ho interview guest, and he went deep at the end of that, and it was a very um, it was an important conversation. So I recommend watching that too. But my piece on top of that, which is what I'm suggesting here, is if you're really looking for an amazing relationship, control should be one of the last things on your list, if any. It should be gone, because the possibility of relationship requires you to be let your partner free. You know the old quote about um, if you love something, if you love somebody, let them let them go. If they come back, they're yours, and if they don't, they're not never meant to be. It's kind of like that, in a way, that relationship really comes to a place of expansion and trust and letting go, which can be challenging for those people, who, those of you who've got issues with jealousy. But that's another topic for another day. Yeah, there's definitely a topic for another day. I'm not getting into that now. Um, so having said all that, I hope this makes sense to you and it, has, it lands for you. I know there may be some questions, provocate some thoughts, some upsets, some feelings about this that may come up. If you want to talk about it, I do offer a complimentary uh, clarity conversation, which you can go to my website, which is barryselby.com. Click on Let's Chat, and let's sit down and talk about it. Let's get you moving forward where you want to go. If you have any comments or questions about this broadcast, you can please put them in the comments below. This is on uh, Facebook Live, and also we are on YouTube later on. You can also find this all on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby is the channel, and Messages from the Masking is the playlist. And of course, on my website, which is barryselby.com, you can click on video blog over there. That's about it. Just a simple topic to inspire some conversation and maybe provoke some interest. Maybe even push some of your buttons. That'd be fun. Um, I don't feel any homework coming up, so you're off tonight. No homework. Take care of yourselves. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow another broadcast. That'll be 3.58. And I've got something brewing for tomorrow already, which is different from this one. But I wanted to get this one out on the table and get it shared. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of my audience. And I'll talk to you again soon.